Hi Aquarius, this is David from Love Voltero. Welcome to my channel and we're going to be doing your very first yearly reading for 2022. I'm so excited to be here with you guys. Thanks for joining me. Uh, we're going to start off with a career and finance reading along with uh, some matters of health and then we're going to move on to love and relationships for those who are coupled and then we're going to do love and relationships for those of you who are single. So please guys, you can move down to the info area and also uh, skip towards whatever timestamp uh, that you need. And you can watch this again, whenever you watch this, this will be when it's for you. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. It's gonna be a pretty casual hangout here with me. The vibe is very chill and we're gonna have a good time, okay? So don't forget to like and subscribe and click notifications to get future updates on videos, guys. But let's proceed with Aquarius's reading for 2022. We're gonna be doing uh, career and finance and matters of health for the year. What do you guys need to know for 2022? Aquarius. What do I have for Aquarius for 2022 in matters of career, finance, and health. We're gonna try shuffling it this way today because sometimes the cards get too crazy. Okay, we have here the Ace of Swords, right over there. There's going to be a new opportunity for you coming this year. Could be good news coming in. Something to do with a promotion, something to do with uh, you taking on this opportunity, and it's the start of something. Okay, for the year. A lot of you could be dealing with moving or maybe you're dealing with a marriage situation or a new engagement. Definitely something new, something to celebrate, something that you're gonna be putting a lot of your effort into, okay? What else is coming up for Aquarius for 2022 in career, finance, and health? What do we have for Aquarius? Please, universe, give me a message for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know for 2022 in matters of career, finance, and health? Okay. What do we have for Aquarius? See what's coming up for you guys. What is coming up for Aquarius? Oh, we have two that fell out, so we're gonna do those both. We have the Six of Cups. Guys, Six of Cups could be you dealing with old memories or things coming back from the past. Maybe you're going back to an old job this year. Maybe you're going to be visiting home and maybe home's far away and you're gonna go back and visit. You could also be dealing with uh, an ex for some of you, but we'll be doing love and relationships later, okay? This will be a very happy feeling for you for the here and you're gonna feel like things are getting back to normal again or how they used to be for you, okay? We have here the Eight of Wands. Some of you could be going somewhere, traveling, taking on this new idea that you have or new opportunity, and you're moving along, taking action towards something. Let's see what else is coming up for you Aquariuses. You could be getting a message from someone or news about something Someone could be finding out that, yes, they're pregnant, or, hey, would you like to marry me? Something like that, okay? We have the Page of Pentacles. So this card could be an individual, could be a person coming in, could be someone younger, could be someone presenting something to you. You could be getting an offer coming in from somebody. Could be a new job offer too, even. Could be a promotion, could be money. Could be inheritance. Could be you found money somewhere. You could be in stocks or in cryptocurrency and you've received uh, a good payout, okay? Or maybe your bank loan goes through or 
Maybe you get a really nice gift from someone. You could be buying a new car this year or a home. Okay. For some of you, you should be watching your blood pressure with the Eight of Wands here, okay? Maybe uh, you need to be more physical this year. Some of you need to go outdoors and get connected to the earth again. What else is in store for Aquarius for 2022? Universe, give me a message for Aquarius for the coming year. What does Aquarius need to know for 2022 for career, finance, and health? What else is coming in? Messages for Aquarius. Oh. Any messages for Aquarius? What messages do we have for Aquarius? We have the magician. So you guys will be very resourceful this year. Some of you could be taking on a new leadership role or taking more responsibilities because you've been really good at what you do. Okay. Some of you could be requiring new skills. Maybe you're training or in training or taking a side course, something that you enjoy doing. Could be a new sport, could be new activity, but you're really passionate about it and you want to put a lot of your energy into it. Okay. And you have a clear vision of what you want. Some of you, this could be a new career as well. You're manifesting. You're taking something on and you're making it happen. Then we have the seven of wands in reverse. You may feel like there's going to be some people in that are going to set you back or maybe tell you you can't do something and you need to kind of ignore these obstacles, okay? This means that you need to stand your ground and stop being distracted. Sometimes you may feel like you are being put down by others or what other people say. Okay. And then that brings you down, but you need to kind of listen to your inner voice here and trust in what you know for yourself. What else is coming in for Aquarius for 2022? Let's draw a few more and then we'll get a advice card for you guys at the end. What is coming up for Aquarius for 2022? What is coming up for Aquarius? Uh, guys, the cards just don't like to cooperate, right? some blocks here or something okay we have two cards guys we take both we have the hierophant this could be a Taurus person coming towards you it could be a boss it could be uh, someone who's a leader of an organization it could also mean you are dealing with something more traditional maybe you want to get into what you are normally used to so it could be cooking for some of you it could be gardening. It could be trying to follow some more traditional value that you have or what you believe is traditional for yourself. Okay. You could also be following a pact of people. You could be joining an organization, sports team, or some sort of community. Okay. We have the Knight of Swords. This could mean you're moving forward now into this direction. You've got news about something. Okay. So you could be pushing towards something, this new idea or opportunity is now moving forward here with the Knight of Swords, you know, and maybe you have help from individuals and people in your community and your organizations that you belong to. Okay. And you have people's respect. It could also mean you're taking a more traditional standpoint on this situation. Okay. And maybe you're not listening to certain individuals. 
you know, you know yourself very well and what you're about and what skills you have and what you're good at. Okay, we have this card here, Knight of Pentacles. Yes, two knights. There could be some slower, but something you're building towards that's coming toward you, okay? Some of you, this could be another offer later on in the year. Some of you, this could be you now rushing fast initially towards an opportunity and then slowing down, realizing you're moving too fast and now you're slowing down, okay? A lot of you, that means you need to be exercising more, okay? Maybe you start something, you go to the gym, but then you kind of wane off and then you decide, hey, I can't go four or five times a week, but I can handle one to two times a week. So I'm gonna do that because that's going to give me more stability if I'm more consistent. This will be an advice card for Aquarius. Let's finish the reading, guys. We have the Five of Wands. So Five of Wands for your advice card means that, you know, sometimes we like to be competitive. Sometimes we put that over uh, as a priority and we forget uh, why we're doing things and we lose focus of our goals. Sometimes we realize that people uh, are our obstacles and sometimes they have negative comments and that has an effect on you. So you need to be more independent. You need to listen to your inner voice. You need to overcome these little conflicts or these little the situations that bring you down, okay? And if you're too competitive, sometimes, like I said, it's going to actually work against you because people will kind of steer clear from you a little bit and maybe you don't want that, okay? So it's good to be more open, maybe have more empathy for people and stop trying to compete all the time and start opening up your heart a bit more, okay? All right, guys, I hope that was a good reading for you, for those of you who this resonated with. I'm gonna be moving on to love and relationships, starting off with those of you who are coupled, and we'll be right back. Welcome back, Aquarius. We're back at Loveful Terror. We're gonna be doing your love reading. And again, this is for couples, so if you're single, please uh, feel free to go down to the info and skip ahead to the next chapter for your singles reading. But in the meantime, we're gonna be doing for Aquarius, those of you who are already in a relationship or committed relationship, what do you guys need to know for the year? What's coming up for 2022 for Aquariuses in a relationship? So guys, we're shuffling because you know there's no funny business going on and we're gonna go ahead with your reading. We're gonna draw an advice card at the end, and let's see what is in store for you for the year. Aquarius, what do you need to know? What messages are coming toward you for 2022? What does Aquarius need to know for the year? For love and relationships, what is coming up for Aquarius for those already in a relationship? What is coming up for Aquarius? Universe, please give me a clear message. What's coming up for Aquarius this year? Let's see. Guys, we have here the Six of Swords in reverse. This could mean that you guys feel like you're not moving towards something. One of you maybe wants to travel. One of you maybe wants to move to a new town or city. And maybe the other person doesn't want to. And you guys are a bit conflicted on that, okay? One of you could be dealing with a situation, a difficult situation that you've had to move past or maybe you haven't let go of, okay? It doesn't have to be between the two of you, but there could be a situation where someone still needs work to move forward in something. For instance, this could be one of you uh, 
losing a job and still trying to get over that energy okay and it's somehow affecting your relationship or maybe you've had a family member passed away and they're still grieving and they're not able to really give a hundred percent in their relationship okay and it's not creating this energy where they're able to move forward because they're still kind of stuck in their thoughts and their worries a bit could be a stagnant energy between the two of you where one of you wants to move forward and the other one's still kind of in the same position. What else is coming up for Aquarius for 2022? For those in a relationship, what other messages do we have for Aquarius? Universe, please give me a clear message. What is coming up for Aquarius for the new year? in love and relationships those who are already in a relationship or coupled Aquarius 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 what is coming up for you guys we have a few guys so we'll take them all we have first the seven of swords in reverse this could mean someone's not being truthful about a situation Someone's maybe hiding some information. Someone's being a little sneaky. Okay. And the Queen of Swords energy. I feel like someone, this could be an air sign even. So it could be you or it could be Gemini or Libra as well. This card could also be a Virgo that you're dealing with. Virgo is in this Queen of Swords. Guys, the Queen of Swords is an energy where you kind of have to really take charge here and be the boss. Make really smart decisions about a situation someone is not being truthful and maybe it's you finding out the truth okay with the queen of swords then we have the knight of pentacles so someone may make an apology someone may receive a gift maybe they were like oh i'm so sorry honey you know i i didn't mean to hide this information i don't know why i did but you know sometimes i like to make up you know untruths you know, we all lie and sometimes we do too much. Sometimes we get caught. Everyone's lied once in their life. Okay. But for your partner, you guys should be more honest between the two of you because it's just you guys. But I get like, sometimes there's information that needs to be hidden or something you don't want to, or you just want to keep to yourself. So someone's apologizing. Someone's getting a gift. Someone feels remorse. Okay, someone's upset about the situation, someone found out the truth, and someone wasn't being honest. Okay, then we have the world. So there could be travel between the two of you. Maybe the apology is a trip somewhere where you guys can get closer together again and kind of rebuild your relationship and forget all the past drama that you've been through, okay? We have the five of pentacles in reverse. Maybe one of you is struggling with money. And maybe money is still an issue between the two of you. Maybe some of you feel like you're coming out of a situation where things were uh, a bit hard and, and you were struggling, okay? Maybe one of you was impacted uh, during COVID and someone wasn't being truthful about you know, their financial situation because they were scared that their partner would be offended by it. Okay, Aquarius? But the truth came out and this person is now in a more stable situation where they're not struggling or trying to find, you know, ways to make money, which is good. So that could be this trip that you guys are going on. What else is coming up for Aquarius in love and relationships for the year? Please universe, give me more messages for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know for 2022? Let's draw a couple more or maybe one more and then an advice card, guys. Let's see what else we have for Aquarius. We have the Three of Cups in reverse. So for a lot of you guys, uh, you're gonna be spending more time between the two of you and you're gonna go out less and you're gonna spend less time socializing with friends and family. 
could be a time where you will be traveling and that's why you'll be separated from your family and people that you love and care about as well. It's not necessarily a bad thing, okay? For some of you, you'll be partying too much and you have to watch out for that. Some of you really enjoy going out together or even alone, okay? Because now, you know, you're out of a financial hardship. Okay, what advice card do we have for those Aquariuses in a relationship for 2022? Universe, please give me an advice card for those Aquariuses already in a relationship. What does Aquarius need to know for the year? What does Aquarius need to know? and advice does Aquarius need to know for the year. We have the King of Swords in reverse. So the message here for you Aquariuses is basically you need to listen to your emotional side sometimes, okay? Sometimes we can be too direct, sometimes we can be too controlling, sometimes we worry too much about a situation or we try to uh, overanalyze things, okay? And this message here with the King in Reverse, uh, King of Swords in Reverse, is to sometimes let go of all those uh, those thought processes and judgments that we make on people, and start caring more with your heart, and that will cause you to make better decisions, okay? So you know, there's lots of issues with trust and truths, and uh, you're just kind of completely sometimes out of your element with the, the emotional side of things, okay? But yes, we can still be analytical, but don't let that be the end all of how you deal with situations. Sometimes use your gut and your heart and trust your instincts versus what you think already or what you know from something. And that isn't always necessarily the answer when it comes to things, all right? I hope that re uh, reading resonated with you guys. We're going to be moving on to those of you in a single status. Welcome back, Aquarius. We're going to be doing your love and relationship reading for those of you who are single. Thanks for joining me again today. And we're going to shuffle the cards, go through what's coming up for you for the new year in 2022. General message for Aquarius for the year for in relationships. So. You singles, what is coming up for you this year? Well, we have the temperance card in reverse. So a lot of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, which is a fire sign. For most of you, this will be a message in regards to you needing to have patience and wait for divine timing to happen. Some of you are impatient about the situation. You want things to move along but they're not happening for you yet. And maybe there's a reason why they're not happening for you yet. And you're denying or wanting to wait for the situation to resolve itself. Could be you needing to work out things for yourself and you're not ready yet to date. For some of you, you are already dating and you're seeing that, oh, well, maybe this is a time where I should move forward with this relationship but you're not seeing something or you're not being patient about something and maybe things are moving uh, at an artificial speed, okay? Artificial could just mean it doesn't feel natural. There's something missing to this puzzle here for you. We have the King of Pentacles. So for some of you, you can be dealing with an Earth sign. So that could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay, Aquarius. This individual can be um, a materialistic person. They could be a controlling person. They could be someone who likes to be a boss, independent individual, someone who likes uh, the luxuries of life, okay? This individual could be coming towards you, okay? Or this could be your energy, and if it is, uh, you could be uh, getting into fashion, buying new outfits, enjoying the uh, good things in life, okay? And really 
kind of harboring that type of energy for the year or right Aquarius and maybe timing isn't just right with the temperance in reverse but you're feeling the need to uh, indulge in yourself and your own needs okay for some of you could be an individual let's figure out what's coming up after this card what is this coming up for Aquarius for 2022 See what we have in store for you, Aquarius. Please give me a message, Universe, for 2022. We have two cards. <laughs> we have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, there's new love coming in. There's a love offer coming in for you for the year. Someone wants to either go out with you or they want to move forward with a relationship with you. Or this could be you... Um, moving deeper with an individual that you've been dealing with for a while, okay? So definitely a new love offer, matters of the heart coming in for you, Aquarius. But we have the Seven of Swords. Now, this is a kind of mischief energy. Someone may not be serious right away about the situation. Maybe they put in a love offer. Or this could be you. Maybe you don't feel like you're able to commit and you want to run away from things. Maybe you're worried about that. Maybe you're worried about them hurting your feelings. Okay? Why do you feel that this person could basically hurt you? You're, you're worried about that, okay? You don't trust people right away. Okay, Aquarius, there's a bit of a trust issue here with this new love coming in for you. Let's see what else is coming in for the year for Aquarius. What else? We have the world in reverse. This could be something coming. The cycle isn't over yet between this person. Something's incomplete. Perhaps this person will be traveling and maybe you'll be separated for a, a, a period of time. Or maybe this person isn't honest and they need to go somewhere or travel somewhere and you may not see them. If it's not related to travel or distance, the world card in reverse could refer to a cycle not completing or having delays, okay? You still have lessons to learn here and it's about you not trusting a person or a situation. Maybe you feel like you don't deserve love and this is a cycle that you continually go through that never really completes. You just go through the same cycle over and over again. Okay, trust issues, finding love and then having trust issues or uh, feeling like you don't deserve love or something to that matter, okay? Feeling like people will run away with your heart. So what else do we have for Aquarius for 2022? For those of you who are single, we have the Two of Cups. So there will be a union or partnership between you and some other individual. This could be a new individual, but this one's gonna feel a bit more connected for you, okay? Oh yeah, it's the full card, guys. So later on in the year, after maybe you going through an incomplete cycle with another individual where you have trust issues, you find another partnership that really balances you out with the Two of Cups. Guys, this is one of the best readings to get in a love reading. You guys have probably had the best love reading for this year for singles. We have the Fool card, which is new beginnings and being excited about something and taking a leap of faith here. You're finally going to take a leap of faith with something in the relationship with this person. Wow, guys. Any advice that we have for Aquarius singles for the year with this new love. I'm so excited for you guys. 
Again, if you need to know more, we're always going to be doing more readings throughout the year for those of you uh, who are single in love. So please tune in for that. But let's find out what we have here as an advice card for, oh, this isn't, advice card for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know for advice for the year 2022 to help their situation? Universe, please guide Aquarius. What is the message for Aquarius for this year in love and relationships? What does Aquarius need to know? What does Aquarius need to know? What does Aquarius need to know for 2022? What advice do we have for Aquarius? Okay, guys. We have the page of pentacles. So this is you taking back this innocent energy of new beginnings and new offers and uh, just starting out slow, but knowing that, you know, you'll build into something more for a lot of you. This means that you're going to be starting off this new relationship slowly and it's going to grow. And you're going to be given an offer by this individual. Or you're going to be offering a part of yourself that you haven't before. And that's really amazing. And so just trust your instincts, okay? And go for it. And be a more giving person. Give more to those in relationships or, you know, to your friends, your family. And good things will come towards you. All right, Aquarius, I hope that was a good reading and it resonated with you. For those of you who didn't, please check in again for other videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit notifications for any future updates. And I really appreciate you guys staying till the end and we'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.